And we'll start at the back here. Uh, this screen is just a little square screen. You can get it on Timo for about $12. It comes with six of these little ties that you can tie it up to like trees or wherever. Um, I just throw it over there and I attach it on with these little hooks or some magnets on the side there. The tent is not for anyone to sleep in. It's a little two-person tent. I got it for like eight bucks and I just use this as a place for a storage unit when I'm stationary. Um, it's a great place just to throw random things like your rain gear, your ladder, whatever, things that you don't want to keep in the van. So it comes in handy. But I'm going to move back here a second because I forgot the awning. Um, I've attached this awning since the last time. Uh, it's okay. It was about 112 bucks. And it works. It works okay. It keeps the rain rain off you and it takes about five minutes or so to sit up. I also use the poles and the top part here to attach on my screen for the projector so it kind of comes in handy in that sense but it does give you some coverage in the event that it's raining and you want to sit out without having to sit up a whole kitchen tent or something. My cooler is out here right now uh, when I'm Driving will be in the center next to the driver's seat, but since I'm stationary, I just took it out to give me a little bit of extra room inside. And that, of course, operates on the jack array. Okay, moving over here. Again, I have these storage units in the uh, in the bottom here, which I have two: one over here and one right here and they just store whatever you want to bring with you extras i used to put my food down here but i have made a new shelf now for the food which i'll show you in a minute right here i have created this um uh, cutout for i i made it out of cardboard and duck and gator tape and this is for the ventilation for the AC, the Ecoflow AC inside. So here is it from the inside, what it looks like, because if you're going to have one of those Ecoflows, you do need to vent it outside to get the fresh air intake and also to get rid of the hot air that it produces. Uh, this does not work really that great. Uh, it says eight hours on an extra battery, but it actually only works three hours on the battery on max. Uh, if you put it in saver mode, you can get about four hours, or the eight hours is mainly a fan. That's about it. I have installed a new table. It's not the same one as was here. The other one was kind of heavy, so I got something a little lighter, which... I just bought the hardware from Amazon, and then I had to put the top on it. I just used a, a, a cutting board, which I haven't even used yet. You can see it still has the plastic on it. And then this screwed it on to the bottom. Also, this just lifts up and off. So when I'm driving, I can uh, move it. But it also swings around, you know, inside, outside, wherever you want to use it. So I can watch, I have a projector and I can, I use a Google Cast, the Chrome little thing that hooks into it and then I can use my internet. So whatever I would want to watch at home, I just connect my phone to the hotspot, connects to the projector and then I can view anything from on here. Here I have my daughter's memorial sign, Renee's garden. Um, there's just an extra spot in between here. That machine up there is just for bugs. I can plug it in at night if mosquitoes get inside. It helps a little bit. Um, so it kind of works. Then right here I can just keep my dog's water at night. Moving around, this is my 
famous window. There's my sign. And for those of you who are new, I have running water, which is just a little USB water spout fountain pump. I'll get it out in a second. Here we have um, my sink is made out of a solid bowl, and this can just lift right up out of there. I did not seal it in there. There's no reason it doesn't move anywhere where I'm going. So I just had a friend of mine cut the hole and then installed the the little trap in the bottom. This toaster oven works really good for making toast or even like a little mini pizza or something. This goes back and connects into the jackery back there. Actually, I have a plug-in that comes around and it's on the outside, which it plugs into, but it eventually gets back to the jackery. Now down underneath, this is where my water runs off. So from my gray tank goes into here. I can also put a little bit of storage, like dish liquid, extra frying pan and whatnot down there. Um, before I pull this up, so this is, I switched this up. It was a cupboard and I made a different cupboard that I could swing out so that I could make the most out of my space. And there I got an extra countertop or table if you want to sit here and eat that's great um and then down underneath here is where my water tank is and this little spot here is where my stove my little propane stove sorry butane stove slides in there this shelf here is new or discovered I used to have my freezer fridge in here before, and then I switched it up because it was too hard to get in and out. Also, I didn't like having to go into the crawl space down underneath to access my food all the time. So it was just inconvenient. And if it's inconvenient, I have to find a way to fix it. This works so much better. Uh, this is a little magnet thing. I got like five bucks at the dollar store. And um, the handle I just got from home. So this just slides over and it's just made by, all I done was put a groove on there and then a groove, I don't know if you can see it up here, uh, a groove at the top and a piece of wood that just kind of slides back and forth. It's not the freest, easiest slide, but it works okay. It's not bad. It was cheaply made. And there I can store all my uh, supplies in here. I can store enough in here to last me about two weeks. Very convenient and easy to access. My little drawer for my silverware. And then I don't know what I got in here. Random things like my lighter and my can opener and just different things. Uh, I also have this little get this out. I have this little storage thing up there that I can pull out. It has like extra glasses and lights and batteries. My little sliding table, which I can put my um, my computer on, my laptop, or I can also sit here and eat, whatever. This. It's just put on these little sliders right here and then attached onto the two by four. And of course my microwave, which comes in very handy for warming up quick meals or something. Here is the jackery that my microwave connects to, my toaster, uh, also my light at the, at the front. Sorry, one second. So this little light here is a USB light. And that cord is very long and it comes back and it hooks in right here. And at night, I can just press the button to turn it on or off. So here we have my, actually, I didn't show you this first. In here, I just keep my clothes that I wear. And um, down here, I keep my bedding, towels, toiletries, all of that, those kind of things are in there. Um, I have my coffee house stuff right here. 
coffee, tea, uh, green tea, hot chocolate. And this is really good right here because when I wake up in the morning, I just have my cup ready. I throw it in the microwave, warm up my water, and I make myself an instant coffee before I even have to get out of the bed. It's more luxurious than what I have it at home. <laughs> at home, I got to get up and go down to my kitchen. Okay, so the bed is different. I used to have the five position folding chair um, and I changed that up just to give, give myself something lighter for moving around. This folds out into a bed, it folds up into a couch or a chair or just in one square. It's easy to maneuver around like I can fold it in a square, put it up against here with a pillow and pull up my table but it's so easy to move around and very comfortable too it's called a trifold mattress i have my fan here i have a couple of these and they have the light lights on them so as well it's good for little night lights um they are usb charged and they last for about eight hours good i have two of those so i keep one for me at the back and then one in the front for the dog. Uh, the radio here. Um, I always carry with me a picture of my daughter. Um, always. And this little lantern, which is battery operated. My happy place sign, which lights up in a neon, like a white light. And here, of course, is my shelf that I built, which I keep my pots and stuff in. And I keep these, I made these little pocket things for the plates in that so that when I'm driving, it doesn't rattle. This is a memorial beer I also made for my daughter. And she goes with me wherever I go. And I put her the way she would like to be, with little earrings and a little eye ring. And I think she should have a lip ring. and. You know, yeah, so she will never be forgotten. So she goes, travels with me wherever I go, and she's been to many places now. She's been out of the country and to Newfoundland and down in the US. So she's did a lot of traveling. Again, here is my cabinet that I, I built here. This is new. And you could, there is a little grooves here. You can put wine glasses. I don't have any wine glasses with me at the moment. I didn't bring them, but yeah. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and if you have any questions, if there's something I left out, please do message me, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you.